Dubai's big Ben Tower has actually been abandoned for 10 years, but there may be plans for its revival. Now, Dubai's skyline is iconic and one of the most identifiable in the world. And each tower has a unique feature and story behind it. And of course, Sheikh Zayed Road has some of the most impressive towers in the world, like the Burj Khalifa, Twin Towers, Big Ben. Uh, But a couple of buildings are not all that active and Dubai's Big Ben has actually been abandoned for 10 years, according to Frankly magazine. So according to their report, Al Yaqub Tower, aka Big Ben, uh, which you've definitely seen before in our incredible skyline, was taken over by UAE Bank. and it could be given a second chance, a new lease of life. So currently, uh, the footage shows kind of dusty furniture, uh, broken glass, and kind of a drained rooftop pool, but, but suggestions it could change. Exactly. Now, the tower was privately owned, uh, but according to Frankly Magazine, Commercial Bank International, CBI seized it in 2013. A uh, Mercury Muchless sign on the front of the tower suggests that uh, the French Giant Accord's mid-scale hotel brand was the acting brand for the 328-meter, 69-story tower, which was meant to function as a 224-room ho- hotel. And however, a representative for the hotel group said, we can confirm that at this stage, this property does not operate under the Accord portfolio. And the report continues that new generators can be seen to power up service elevators leading to the top with sources suggesting new activity. So that just hints that, you know, uh, there may be the new lease of life coming. Exactly. Exactly. That is insane. Like I never actually, it was always in my mind somewhere that this is such a beautiful tower. I've never really seen it light up. Mm. And... uh, It's like, it's just there, there's no clock. Like, why have they left that space of a clock empty? Like, there's actually been no activity in and out of the hotel. It like, was they're... never fully finalized when they built it. Yeah. And I think it, the, the original owner went into arrears, so it wasn't able to be finished. But now there's discussions that maybe, because of these new generators, that it, generators, uh, yeah. that there could be a sign of life. Maybe they're going in to survey it. Who knows? Yeah. You know, once, uh, when I used to live on Sheikh Zayed Road, like, I walked past this building a couple of times, and I always saw a notice that's like, it, the building is shut. I assumed it was because of COVID. because I was only in that area during COVID and it was like that was the assumption Mm. but now it's like clear that it's been abandoned for 10 years and it's just so interesting no one's really tried to go inside oh well I believe it was uh don't try this at home but I think people were scaling the building a little bit and the last couple of years so okay Oh knows my what goes god, on if I knew this was abandoned, I would have like really tried my level best to go inside for like pictures and videos, like just to see what's inside because... I think a lot of these places have strict security because the yeah. last thing they want is people going into buildings that haven't been fully finished, it's a massive safety hazard. Yeah, for sure. So in general, there would be security stopping people <laughs> going in for pictures. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, it, what you said is so true, the safety factor of it, like you should never go inside an abandoned building like the things that can fall on you like the build the i mean apart from the visuals that we're seeing the place has been like just completely left for the rags with broken broken glasses around and uh, you know like pieces of wood everywhere so it's just and shards so uh, I mean, for reason, it's blocked off. But yeah, hopefully we see it reviving. Exactly. Let's see. Um, it's a uh, one of the most recognizable buildings on the skyline. And as new buildings continue to shoot up, maybe uh, this will be rejuvenated rather than another new build happening. Let's see. Nothing is a surprise in this city. That is for sure.